Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Conscience, and you are listening to the Conscience Hip Hop Podcast. And I have a special guest with me today. He goes by the name of Davis Absolute. We're just going to hit you off real quick, Nardwar style. Who are you? <laughs> Davis Absolute. Uh, I'm a Christian, Christian hip hop artist, Christian rapper. I make really dope music. Well, I think it's dope um, to praise the Lord, Jesus Christ, and to uh, give people profound truth in a way that's really tangible and um, applicable to their to their lifestyle and and usually their immediate need of uh, immediate need of answers dope dope so um now for those of you who don't know davis absolute he released a brand new ep recently entitled absolutes which is available on all major platforms itunes spotify and soundcloud um, now let's just dive right into it off jump. So you have a very unique style to your artwork. So my first question for you off that is who does the artwork for you? I actually do all of my own artwork for the most part. Like sometimes I'll get somebody else, but everything for the, the EP, for example, I, I did that all myself along with the, uh, uh, you know, the single art and everything like that. Dude, that is super dope. Um, you know throughout the years i've seen your artwork and uh to me it's very minimal um uh, but clean and very catchy and if i could describe it with some kind of artsy terms i would say it's kind of a cross between minimaliz- minimalism which is like kind of simplistic surrealism so kind of like exotic dreamy epic uh and then another cross between like a pop art very like catchy iconic symbology so uh how would you describe your approach to the artwork and what role does it play for you and your music yeah, you know, uh, you know. Honestly, I think I think the way that you described it is probably a way I, I couldn't really ever describe it, just because I don't really I don't really know about maybe any of that besides from like minimalism. You know, I'm thinking like a minimalist ap- approach to the design. But um, I would just probably say, man, like realistically, um, um, all around, like the artwork is important to the to the music because I think it reflects the character and the nature of the music. I, I always love art that combines both those aspects and, and kind of just comes out so like when i look at the artwork i can know what to expect and i mean overall like when i'm trying to make art to be honest it, just transparent i, I want to do the least amount of work possible to get the best results so like there's art that you know i've done that's taken hours and hours and hours and there's also art that i've done that doesn't take very much time at all and really i just want to like think of like what's the best way that i can achieve the, the the best result and sometimes that might take a lot of time that might take a lot of complex graphic design but for the most part like my approach is very simple like just get something that looks good make it look good and don't mess with it too much because i think a lot of people mess with art a whole lot and it kind of just either ruins it or mm-hmm. takes away from the style and i think i think the music i make also has like uh has so much complexity to it that i like to just kind of uh like ease ease the artwork in as something that's mm. going to be like a nice contrast maybe to what you're going to hear sonically right right that's dope, man. Now, you know, there's a big wave going on, you know, of, of like methods of thought when it comes to approaching art making. And some cats just say, you know, I'll put my artwork out there and leave it completely up to the listener or the viewer to kind of take what they get from it and to find meaning in it. And then you got guys on the other side of the fence who say, no, you know, I want my art and my expression to be very uh, intentional and clear. And I kind of want to navigate the listener uh, or the visualizer, you know, down my path of thinking so that they're very parallel with me where do you sit on that uh is it a balance beam for you do you kind of is it weighted on a certain side for you how do you navigate through that as you make your music and your art um you know your cover art and your various graphics i think when it comes to artwork there's definitely always an attention in mind for me at least like Uh like almost i would say I would say all of the art that I've ever produced, except for um, the cover for Absolutes, um, has been very intentional with my thought process going into it. Okay. There's a very specific idea in mind. There's a very specific execution that I have in mind. But uh, you know, on the flip side, there's also times when I create artwork and I'm just kind of like, you know what? This is something that I might, I might have like a maybe 20% or 40% of the understanding of what I'm trying to communicate. But I just trust God. And I'm like, you know what? There's more. There's more to be communicated here that I'm not aware of, and I'm just gonna put that out. Right. And like the Absolutes cover art itself is something where I developed the artwork, and I actually made the cover in probably in about 40 minutes. Is, is about how long it took me to make the cover. Dang. And once I was done, I, I was kind of looking at it, and I was like, wow, that's like really profound 
I don't know if there's something that I need to kind of do with this, but honestly, my initial reaction wasn't to be like, there's a deep meaning. It was more so like, there's about 20% of this that I want to communicate absolutely, and the rest I'm just going to let kind of fall to the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so now taking how you broke that down and looking at all your music, you know, each individual song on your project has its own graphic artwork. So um, what were some of the thought processes going into that and the intentionality and what you leave up for interpretation and stuff like that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, when I designed the cover art for Absolutes, I was like, you know, I don't really know what the interpretation of this is. There's one thing I really want to communicate, and that one thing I think was communicated pretty well. But for the other pieces of artwork, each one was very intentional in that um, each song has like a very specific play on what the art is about. So like American Hebrew has a Statue of Liberty dripping in gold. And you know, each each piece of art obviously has that golden art, but the Statue of Liberty dripping in gold, and obviously there's there's a message in that American Hebrew song that kind of reflects what that art is intended to be. And of course, at the same time, like a lot of that's interpretive, you know, why is the Statue of Liberty gold? You know, why is he using the Statue of Liberty at all? There's a lot of other things that represent America, like the flag, I mean, you know, the Twin Towers, Mount Rushmore, even the, the, the shape of the uh, of the continent itself or the country itself like there's a lot that could be you know i guess kind of played from and why'd you choose the statue of liberty so all of that has a specific purpose and a meaning to it um but definitely the cover art itself kind of inspired that and didn't really have that that uh i guess that care and that attention uh, as the other pieces of artwork do so i think there's seven total and i would say six of them have an absolute attention and that the cover art didn't initially but i think it's there dope dope Now, you know, the project is called Absolutes. So uh, if you could take us down, you know, some of the creative process uh, for the concept, how it came about and how you flushed that out in the project. Definitely. I think Absolutes, when I had first started putting together, I'd written the the intro song Absolutes. And after I did that, everything kind of just made sense from there because I originally put all this material together for an album and then the album didn't pan out the way that I needed it to Mm. just for so many different reasons. Um, But when I had put together the, the, the intro song, you know, I was like, you know what? There's something really special here and I think I can ride with this. So I went ahead and took those other songs and put them together. And what I found throughout the project is that there's just absolutes between the left, the right, the right, the wrong, um, the truth, the non-truth, you know, love and indifference. What I really want to communicate on the whole prob- uh, on the whole project is this, I guess, this paradox that we're faced with. We're either completely hot or completely cold. There's really no place to be warm. And I think that's the idea behind that golden calf also is like you're either worshiping the golden calf or you're worshiping the one one true god there's really not a middle ground where you can have a little bit of both you know god doesn't want that and the calf doesn't want that Mm. you know people are either committed to one or the other and people that are riding the fence i think ultimately when they hear the project like they'll be convicted one way or the other but that that is kind of the whole idea like absolutes what is absolute in life and what is absolute to you and that's ultimately going to determine i think you know what's going to happen um you know with your journey whether that's with the lord or without the lord dang man now let's just talk hypothetically speaking you know i come up to you and i say yo i've never heard your music before but i you know and you're like well yo i got this project it's called absolutes and and i kind of tell you well yo i don't got a lot of time to kind of investigate it you know what would be an elevator pitch that you would give to somebody as far as letting them know what they're in for lyrically um you know musically all that stuff going on how could you give me an elevator pitch for what i can expect if i were to listen to a davis absolute Absolute project and this one uh, in particular absolutes i would say it's heavy ambience coupled with lyrics that'll pitch like hit hard and punch home and sonically very sonically sound with great artwork that'll keep you thinking and songs that you'll have to rewind dang dang that's a pretty good answer man <laughs> now you know just to kind of backpedal a little bit when you were talking about you know the concepts and stuff behind absolutes you know did a lot of the things that you wrestled with in making that project um 
is, is that reflective also of like how you got your name you know like are some of those themes always kind of reoccurring as far as you know how you reflect on what you want to write about in the projects that you you know take on you know i mean to an extent i think it is like honestly how i got my name is i was just trying to think of a cool sounding name like i i feel like my name my names in the past as you probably know my names in the past my aliases or my monikers in the past have always been really bad and i was like man i just need a good moniker like my monikers are always super whack so i was like you know what my last name is davis that's a cool that, like that's kind of cool i kind of like that my first name is you know obviously akande that's my government name. it's kind of hard for people to pronounce and even say the first time that they're seeing it so i'm like i can't really use that but davis is dope and i remember i don't even know when when it was or when i was driving but i was like just driving or something and i was like absolute so i was like davis absolute i was like man that's kind of that's kind of fresh you know and it just stuck with me um but as like i guess time went on more and more i began to kind of like resonate with with this idea of like like absolutes like 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 right or wrong i guess i can just say like when i was going into the world and i was backsliding but even with my walk with christ i was like man i'm just like i know i'm in 100 percent the wrong right now you know what i mean and when i got back with him it's 100 percent the right it, there was no riding the fence and like i i kind of just discovered that in life there's only one absolute truth and that's christ that's yahweh that's messiah it's not anything else so when i look at everything else that's relative in this world even myself i'm just relative right now i'm not necessarily in absolute like i will die you know i will pass on um you know to, to to be to be lifted up again but right now i'm relative so my truth and my experiences are relative to me but there's only one absolute truth so when i was making the project like there was kind of a desire to be with like a, a self a self-titled ep but i was like you know i got to do something that is a little bit more meaningful than just putting my face on the cover and titling it davis absolute or the ep or something like that you know i just felt like this idea of, of just absolutes in life, absolutes in, you know, truth, absolutes in love, like that just needed to be communicated. And when I was listening to the track list, that just made the most sense to me. I was like, you know what? We're wrestling with so many things on this on this EP, even even within just seven songs. I need to make sure that I, I do this the right way and present it and present it in the right context. And I think that's where that that title absolutes was kind of born from. Um, well, you know, music has really evolved, I think, as of 2016, where we're at now. Yeah. Hip hop is at the point where, you know, we have all the subgenres similar to how jazz developed, um, smooth, cool jazz fusion, you know, all that stuff. And, uh, you know, how it's morphed and collaborated with other ideas and genres. And I think despite what we're hearing on the radio, if you actually learn your history, you know, do your research and you don't live inside of a hole, um, there's a lot of amazing talent out there and things going on musically. So what makes your music different than what's going on in secular and CHH music. And don't try to make a distinction here, but just all the music together, what separates Davis Absolute from what else is going on? I mean, you know, like when I speak on this, it's not because I'm coming from an arrogant point of view or I'm coming from a point of view <laughs> that, oh, I'm better than XYZ artists. Mm -hmm. But I feel like the music that I create is, is unique to me. I feel like when you listen to the stuff that I put out, like you're not going to be able to hear it or, or replicate it or enjoy it anywhere else except for how that I give it. Like even even when I'm doing like mixtape projects on commercial records, like the way that I get on a on a track right. is very different and unique to me. And I think some people will, will probably say the same thing, but realistically sure. when you listen to absolutes, like I I don't feel like there's any artist CHH or secular that I've heard that you can say, oh, Davis Absolute sounds like X, Y, Z. You know what I mean? Oh, if you're if you're a fan of this artist, you'll likely be a fan of Davis Absolute. Yeah, yeah, Just to yeah. be 100%, like I've never heard an artist that I feel like we're like kindred spirits in the way that we create music, the way that we put it out music, from the way that the choruses are structured, the way that the songs are structured, the way that the production is used, I think the way that the mix sound, I think, I feel like the, the, the mixes themselves are very high quality mixes. I think that they're competitive with, you know, even some of the larger names out there, um, like Lecrae and all these people that are putting it out. I, I take a like, lot of- Like Biggie and Pac? <laughs> Nah, man, my mixes, my mixes are better than Biggie and Pox for sure, but, um, <laughs> but, I, <laughs> I but hope I, so. it's one of those things, you know, where it's like, uh, uh, like I just take a lot, I take a lot of pride in what I do and there's never going to be a point in time when a wave is just being ridden or rode rather. I, I'm never going to ride a wave just for the sake of making music. And I think the music that, that I'm creating with the people that I work with is going to be music that's still going to be relevant in 10 years. I, I firmly sure. believe that the music I'm making now, I'll do better. 
and I'll evolve and I'll make different music and it won't always be the same, but I believe that the music I make now will still be relevant and still hold its weight in 10 years. Dang. Man, that's that's it's a lot of weight there, but uh all right, bro. I believe you. Um, you know, and I can attest that, you know, your music definitely stands in its own lane uh for for great reasons. Now, you know, just moving along If you could simplify for a moment, what's one of the biggest things that you would like someone to take away from listening to the Absolute TP? Take away? I mean, I I think I think the biggest thing would just be like, like that this is quality music made for the king. And while it's Christian rap, there's no way or, or, or no no reason why people wouldn't be able to resonate with this, whether they have faith in christ or not i've shown this music to people who aren't christian and they resonate with it i've shown people you know music to people that are christian they resonate with it i think it's a versatile project and i want people to walk away just knowing that like good art still exists and and don't be ashamed or afraid or shy to say hey i listen to christian rap and then present this as you know showcase a or whatever you want to call it for people to just listen to and be like okay you know i see i see what christian rap is capable of and i see that christians take this music seriously yeah yeah and and you know of course i want people to like you know meditate on like the deep aspect of it and the concept of it and everything like that but that's a process i think you need to live with for a while i don't think it's something you could just like, I don't expect anyone to listen to, to my project one time through and be able to make an assessment on what it means and why I did what I did. But you could definitely show someone and be like, hey, this is something that was crafted with, with love and care and with a very specific purpose in mind. Mm. Dang. Well, uh, again, man, the EP is called Absolutes. For those of you out there, I'm chilling with the man himself, Davis Absolute. Um, Davis, it's been an incredible time getting to know you and in the ins and outs of the project, you know, about you as a person. Why don't you tell the people again where they can find your music and, and how they can stay updated with everything you're involved in? Absolutely. Um, you can go to davisabsolute.com. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, at Davis Absolute. Everything Davis Absolute. SoundCloud, Davis Absolute. Let's link up. Shoot me an email. I love to be able to connect with people and talk with people. And as always, stay blessed and be reminded that Messiah is king. All right, man. Well, uh, I'm honored to sit down and chop it up with you. And uh, I appreciate your time and your art. Uh, folks, remember this interview will be available alongside an album review I did of the Absolutes EP. This is all on conscienceHipHop.com or conscienceHipHop.info. Remember, conscience is spelled C O N S C I E N C E, like con science. Uh, you wouldn't believe how many people think that it's conscious. Uh, so, anyways, uh, one thing I really want to stress is this idea to people that. You know, everybody always has so much to say about the current state of hip hop. There's all this drama filled, you know, scenario and and people are filled with desires about what they want to see in the world with the gospel and how people approach the craft and whatnot and how Christians think through things and what we support and what we don't. Here's an excellent example of high quality, Christ centered, heartfelt testimony filled music. And for like just i mean even 10 minutes of your day you know i don't care if you tweet instagram snapchat you know buy the album shout davis absolute out you know go to one of his events to support him or even just talk to one of your friends about his music uh, and say yo you need to check this guy out that would go a long way and make the difference that we need to see in this generation if we want to see change and if we want to see hearts change for christ so definitely support this project again my name is conscience and you are listening to the conscience hip-hop podcast remember we are present day history so leave something behind that's worth picking up all right Signing off, man. Thank you so much. Peace.